Hello there, good morning you guys. So today I thought I would bring you along on my ideal morning routine. I get asked a lot to share a witchy morning routine or just my morning routine in general and I figured that it was time that I do it. I'm in Virginia still and so my morning routine is different here than it is in the city and it's different here than it was on the island. So I think I will probably do uh, a couple different iterations of this. Do one here. This is the morning routine that I kept up for the most time of my life. Do one in the city and do one again on the island. Just to kind of show you all how it shifts depending on where I'm living. And hopefully that will also help uh, give you all an idea on how to integrate the craft into your own lives based on how your settings shift and change. I will say my routine here is most similar to what it is on the island, but still fairly different. And I also want to keep things simple, be pretty honest about it. And my morning routine does not consist of much, but it's what helps to ground me and start my day. And I also want to say again that this is my ideal morning routine. It's not something I always have time to do. Usually I try to at least have one moment of it if I can or I will do it in the evenings. So welcome to my ideal witchy morning routine. First things first, I like to get a drink. Today it is tea and sit outside and connect with nature. Personally, it takes me a little bit to wake up in the morning. So getting up early, getting a drink and just taking that time to be is really important to me and something I just kind of have to do. And here, it's really nice. I just go and sit on the porch. Typically, I actually go and sit on the steps over here and watch the dogs sniff around and play and uh, explore the new day. This is the time that I take to kind of re-engage with myself and my environment and stay off my phone. I used to have a big issue with waking up and just going on my phone and I'm bad about it still sometimes, but I'm trying not to be. It, was such a time suck and it made me feel so disconnected from my environment and it just makes me unhappy. So I'm glad to be back here where I have the opportunity to just step outdoors and be in this peaceful place and enjoy that. I also want to specify that while doing this, I'm not meditating. I will meditate later in the morning, but this point is just kind of existing and observing and being. I've been up for a few hours actually. I was going to bring you all with me, but then I ended up getting too excited about filming. I woke up, uh, oh gosh, maybe an hour before sunrise and I looked outside and it was just foggy and beautiful. So I <laughs> grabbed all my equipment and ran on over to the river and got some beautiful shots. That was a good way to start the morning and that's really where I started just sitting and being that. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple start. I just think it's helpful in grounding myself. So I'm gonna go sit, finish my tea, and then I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, so next on the schedule of my mornings, I like to take a walk and gather something from nature. Part of my practice involves just getting something simple, a flower, a leaf, something that inspires me, an acorn maybe, and taking it to an altar. Right now it's pretty makeshift because I don't have all of my things, but this was yesterday's and so it's time to take it, return it to the earth, and then gather something new and I just like to walk with my feet bare against the earth feeling all those energies and just being do you see that milkweed pod just beginning to burst there's quite a few more around here that haven't quite opened this is what they look like before they'll open You can't really tell, but it's very foggy out here and my hair keeps getting wet, but I've done a few talks on Milk Thistle before. It's 
really interesting, or at least I've involved it in spells before and kind of talks about it then. But, and I'm gonna keep calling this milk thistle, I mean <laughs> milkweed. Milkweed's really interesting. It's a fan favorite of the monarch butterflies, and so it carries transformative properties because of it. I recently did a spell for windows and uh, trying to just keep negative energy out and my hope with this was to help kind of transform some of the energy that did come through and give it the energy of the other herbs and ingredients involved and honestly before I left it seemed to be doing a really good job of it. I was really pleased with it. So I look forward to using it in more spells and Hopefully I'll be able to gather up some more before I leave. This seems to be the only one that has opened, but they tend to go pretty quick once one has started. But they're really cool. I think this will be what I'm taking in today. But still more walk to continue and I need to return my little thistle back to the earth. Typically here I either put it in the creek or I'll just kind of put it back in the brush or the earth. I don't tend to bury this kind of thing. It doesn't feel right in my practice to do so, but uh, giving it a way to water or just back into the brush works for me. So I think today I'll put it in the brush. The water has been a little high lately from the rain, so I don't really want to run down there. Also going to try to grab a little bit of this guy to take in and put up as a uh, bouquet. Alrighty, and now it is just time to meditate a little bit. I don't have any specific amount of time, it's kind of what feels right. Uh, sometimes it's a long time, sometimes it's a short time, it really depends on what I have time for, but yeah, let's get into that. <laughs> Alrighty, and that's my morning and now it's time for me to start my day. It's very simple, I know, and I kind of have put off making this video for a long time because it is so simple, but I get asked all the time to do a witchy morning routine or what my morning routine is, and honestly it's just that simple. For me, my morning is about grounding myself and centering myself to begin my day. I'm not doing big spells to start or anything. It's really just getting ready. Really, the big secret of witchcraft and all of these things is that you don't have to do big things all the time. So I hope you all enjoyed it and take away something from it. And I will do some of this in the future as well. And I hope you all are doing well. And I will see you in the next one.